Maybe I should hit my drive there, I don't know. All right, hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm at Toscana Country Club. I spent a bit of time in Palm Springs during the winter. I'm just gonna play six holes or so, count my score, but also talk you through what I'm thinking each shot, what I'm trying to do. So let's go for it. Right, so good drive, the right side, 57 yards for the hole. Little tricky one, little down slope. I chip quite dead hands. So I'm going to be feeling like I had a little cut here. That's my way of just creating a bit more spin. Way too far left. Right, first of all, for the people who've been asking, it's a really a long neck, kind of cool. Curtis Lux butter says lucky, but he gave it to me. Um, not a great pitch shot. We have like probably 17 feet or so down the hill. Um, yeah, pretty instinctive with the putter, so let's go. Here in hole two, I'm out here. It's like a what is it? A Friday. Um, I'm working on stuff at the moment. So at the moment, kind of my project swing wise, which I'm kind of gently trying to feel out here, is I'm trying to keep my posture a bit more. I'm trying to keep my chin kind of high throughout the golf swing. My tendency is to dip a little bit. It shortens me up, gets me into some bad patterns. So while I'm out here, I'm obviously trying to hit the shot, but I'm also more aware today of what I'm trying to work on than I normally would be. So. Um, here we are, I don't know if you can see, there's kind of a bunker, about 240, a few bunkers on the right. I'm going at that kind of skinny palm tree in the distance, which is basically straight over this left bunker. Uh, I like to hit a fade with driver, so that's what we're going to be trying to do. Good drive, 155 yards. Pretty simple front pin. There's a little fall off to the left. Got to avoid that, but pretty aggressive. Top five worst shots I've hit this year. Yeah, first of all, that pin was nowhere near as easy as I thought it was. Right on this little front part, it can come up here. Um, so now I'm in a tough spot. I'm below the surface of the green, I'm in the rough, barely any green to work with, and it runs off over the other side. So two options, either go really high, flop shot, or go lower. Um, I am not sure at the moment. I think we're going to go lower. God, that was close. Right idea, didn't hit it hard enough. We got stuck in the grass. Still probably like a 12 footer, but not great. It's one of the softest bogeys going around, but part of what we're doing out here, working on stuff, gonna make some sloppy mistakes, but we gotta do better than that. Hole three is pretty simple, straight away, short par four. Last hole I think is about 490 yards. This is only 395 yards. Um, so we can get a good drive away. We'll just have a little wedge in. All right, 73 yards, a great drive. Not sure I'd hit driver here in a tournament though. I would check the pin and stuff. Front pin, off a down slope, 70 yards. 
false front, not much green to work with, so it's gonna be hard to hit it close because it'll spin. I'm uh, not gonna have enough spin, but I'm gonna do our best here, so let's see here we go. Maybe I should hit my drive there, I don't know. Got an eight footer slider downhill right to left. And that's about it. Too hard. All right, hole four, um, 215 yards, very pretty old, um, very tough hole. I've got a five iron, it's getting a little cooler. This normally goes back 220, 225. Gonna try and start this out the right and move it back in. Alright, that was one of the better five irons of my life. Um, I think it kind of landed up to the right there. I think there's a pitch bar probably rolled around. Which means I've got about a five and a half, six footer here. Probably moving almost a cup, so a tough little putt, but time for us to make one, I reckon. All right, back to even par. Couple holes to go in this challenge. Six holes at the play. Um, straight away par five, there's some bunkers on the left, but other than that, pretty open. I, I can't go in those bunkers, those bunkers like automatic, like hit a 60 degree out. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna launch it. I'm just gonna try and hit it hard at those bunkers with my normal little fade, and it should give us a good chance to get to the green. Block this drive out of the right. Actually, losing quite a hard second shot. So you can see there's water on the right. A um, few bunkers. I'm actually going to try and miss this kind of short left and back right. Then give myself a nice little pitch to it. See if we can still make birdie from here. Meant to leave a short left. Did not leave it short left, as you can see. Um, how much better the angle would be from over there. So now I've got a really hard shot, um, or at least much harder than I want it to be. I've got about, I'm going to call it 45 to 50 yards. I don't have my range finder with me, so he's going to get to me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to keep this a little left, but I'm definitely going to have to have some softness. So kind of splitting the flag in that palm tree would be great. If I get the yardage right, give myself like a like an eight footer, something along those lines. We got like a 13 footer, 12 footer, something like that. Not a bad look, I was pretty happy with it. Um, let's go one under. Then we got the toughest ball on the court. Yeah. Thank you very little. One under through five, pretty good considering I'm kind of working through some things. Pretty spectacular. I hope it's not too dark that you can't see it, but the signature hole here at Toscana, beautiful, really hard, about 500 yards from back here. Obviously water to the left, fungus to the right, so tricky shot and go after the good one. Last hole, tough approach shot. I got like 180 yards-ish. Um, water short, 
wide green but super narrow uh super what's the word for it it's not a very deep green shallow green there you go that's one. um i've got a seven iron i'm just going to try and take a little bit off it it's getting a little colder now so um normally 175 would be about an eight iron uh today i'm just going to hit like a little smooth seven iron. I think I have bands. I need to hit some balls on the range. All right, a bit sloppy. Um, I got like, like 50 feet probably up and down this ridge, getting a little dark too. Um, so yeah, my process on a long putt like this is to kind of, I always try and look at it from this side over here. Um, I like to kind of see the uphill downhill a little bit because from 50 feet or whatever, you're, it's all about speed, always about speed. And the line, yeah, you want to take note of it, but not as important. So. I always try and view it there to kind of see the uphill, downhill, whatever. I get behind it and I'll almost kind of feel like I'm rolling a ball. And what would that feel like for speed? Um, that gives me a really good feel of kind of what I need to do speed wise. And then, yeah, just a couple practice strokes and I'll step in there and just putt. Woefully short. So that was pretty miserable putt in 50 feet. Left myself about nine feet here to shoot one under for six holes, which would be not too bad. I wouldn't be upset with it considering I'm working on a few things, but um, yeah, gotta hold this first. Let's uh, see if we can finish off strong. There we go. That's Toscana South Course, holes one to six. It's getting kind of dark. Seventh is very pretty. I might play that as kind of a bonus hole, but one under, um, kind of my goals for today. I'm obviously working on a couple things with my swing. It's an off week. Uh, I've got an exciting tournament coming up that I don't think I can talk about yet. I went and played Live Golf Promotions, which was basically Live's Q School um, in Dubai, a chance to get on live golf for 2024 unfortunately i didn't play too well i um i didn't qualify but what an experience what a tournament i think for me i'm not going to put myself on one side or the other of the pga tour live debate but i've been lucky enough now to play a lot of pga tour events and that is my first taste of live and they're doing a phenomenal job as well as the pga tour and um i think it's exciting i think having competition in golf is super exciting. Like I said, I would have loved to have qualified this year um, and been out there next year, but wasn't the case. So we keep pushing for 2024 and uh, I'm excited for what's to come. So cheers guys and I hope you enjoy the video. But I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of prepping for that. So I'll be working through different things. This is my time kind of late in the afternoon to get on the course, see how my stuff's going. Um, got a little bit more work to do, but at least that gives you a little insight to how I would go about things on the golf course. So drop a comment if you guys want to see anything more specifically about putting, chipping, full swing, what I'm working on, help out with you guys, what you guys need to work on, or just more insight to what we do kind of day to day. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.